So today I'm introducing a new series called Real Marriage Talk with my fabulous multi-talented cousin Kiki and her husband, the legendary hip-hop icon, Chubb Rock. The first question I asked them was how did they meet? This should be interesting. Sit back, relax, and enjoy Real Marriage Talk with Kiki and Chubb Rock. Ladies first, bro. Oh, okay. Ladies first. He did do it. He was actually stalking me. We met in 1986. And I was coming down Myrtle Avenue, and he was following me. And I was actually on my way to Albee Square Mall. And, you know, he stopped. We talked. He had nice teeth, nice eyes. <laughs> then I looked down at his feet. And they seem kind of huge. He didn't do anything to aggravate me right away. You know how some guys approach you and they got some whack at ass line and you're like, nah. But, you know, we actually had a good conversation. He gave me his beeper number. So we texted each other for a little, beeped each other for a little while. And then it just went on from there. Yeah. That was, that was pretty decent, you know. But you must admit that you stalked me. No, no, no. I, I didn't stick with stalker. I just, um, you know, I had seen her a couple of times, and I wanted to say something, but she was always in, like, a rush. And, um, like, walking mad fast, and so I don't walk fast, so I was like, I, I gotta wait till I just <laughs> collide into her, so I couldn't just run and chase her. And um, then, yeah, you know, we finally spoke and stuff like that, so... Um, it's a long time ago though. That's and I was much younger than he was, so he was like this big old guy to nah, me. Nah, nah. Yeah. <laughs> nah. And then, you know, it was like right around that time when I was trying to um kinda of get out there on the music side and um and I just kept things moving all the time. In fact I was going to a studio down by that cause Howie was on Schenectady and a good friend of mine, he had his studio on Washington between uh um, Willoughby and whatever that other street was, DeKalb or something like that. So, you know, it was just faith, fate. You know, we just kind of bumped into each other and started talking and she seemed like she liked me, you know. He was all right. He was all right. He kept my attention going for a very long time and we always remained very good friends. Oh, yeah. And then, you know, his career started to take off. And then I saw the groupies and, you know. He nah, was, nah, I didn't get into all of that. Yeah, he, he had groupies. I did not get into none. I didn't get into none. Of People probably like me, but I didn't get into none. Of I was 400 pounds back then. I knew it was a gas when girls come that up to you. You're so cute. That didn't stop the groupies from coming. Yeah, because they think whatever. You know, because you start doing a little something, so you they know, think. He has lyrics in his songs, pocket, pocket full of green. So, you know, of course, he had a lot of, you know, young ladies after him. But long story short, I'm the one with the ring, and I got the heart. So, you know. Yeah. Years of just, uh, when you're young, boy, you make some mistakes when you're young, boy. You know, I look, I, I, you know, you can't regret things. You just, but, you know, this is definitely the happiest I've ever been. In, in my life so this is it this is it for me man she's, she's a great person you know we know how to disagree in a great way as long as he listens he I try has, to listen but you know yeah you have to listen though because you've learned from the past that when you didn't listen to me things just didn't pan out right now that that's we've true. become one and you've learned how to listen to me that's true you're on a better track right now but you know when you're stubborn, and that testosterone start hitting your system, you're like, nah, forget that. But you know, she never judged me when I made mistakes. You know, so that was a good thing. Not to his face, anyway. Yeah, not to my face. <laughs> Definitely not to my face. 
Oh man, does this have like a camera on it? <laughs> For blog related comments and questions, be sure to follow me on Twitter at Daydream217. And to continue the discussion, be sure to find my Not So Patiently Waiting Facebook page. Please be sure to visit the Not So Patiently Waiting for His Love blog at www.dreamcatcher3606.blogspot.com.